The Starfield Script Extender. What is it and why should you care? Is it safe? And if so, how do you install it? Those are the questions I'm going to answer in this video. Script extenders have existed for Bethesda Game Studios games going back about 20 years now. They add additional capabilities and functionality to the game in a way that lets mod makers create exciting new mods, having features that would otherwise be very difficult, if not impossible, to implement without the script extender. Indeed, if you look back at games such as Fallout 4 and Skyrim, and you check out people's recommended mod lists, they will almost always contain many mods that require the script extender, and they will be flagged as essential mods. So is it safe? Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. I do understand why people are a little sceptical when they see mods like this. It does come with an executable, and indeed, you're going to be running the game through this executable, and you're worried about, well, could it have security problems? What about performance, stability, etc.? This is a valid concern, and honestly, it's a healthy attitude to have when on the internet. But what I will tell you is the Script Extender team have an impeccable reputation and are highly regarded in the community. Basically, most people in the community will consider the Script Extenders as a must-have mod, the first thing they install when they're beginning to mod their game. And you can rest assured that if there is any problem with the script extender, it will be found very, very quickly because there are just so many people who are going to be using this mod. Yeah, it's safe. Just make sure you only download it from Nexus Mods, and I'll leave a link down below to the, the exact page, or sfse.silverlock.org, which is the official page only, at the time of making this video, there is no download link. So, I don't know if it's even going to appear here. I would just recommend, go to Nexus, get it there. I should also point out at this point that the script extender is only going to work, at the time of making this video anyway, on the Steam version of Starfield. And in fact, it's very unlikely that will ever change. So, how do you install the Starfield script extender? Well, with the latest Mod Manager tools, installing a script extender has never been easier. It really is incredibly simple now. Obviously, the first thing to do is go along to the download page, go to Files, and hit Mod Manager Download. Now, the script extender does not get installed into the usual data folder. It gets installed into the game's root folder. That's where you actually find the Starfield executable. However, Vortex recognizes this mod immediately and will do that for you. You click Install, and it's basically done. However, don't stop watching the video yet. There is one more thing you need to understand, and that is from now on, if you're using any mods that require the Script Extender, you will have to run your game through the Script Extender. Don't worry, that is also very easy. I'm going to go along to um, where it says Open Game Folder here in Vortex, and this will open up that folder, which will incidentally allow me to double check that the mod has installed correctly. You'll know if it's installed correctly because you will see sfse underscore loader dot exe. Instead of running the game normally through your Steam icon or through, you know, coming to Explorer and double clicking here, you're going to be running this. What I would recommend is right-clicking and going down to where it says Send To and select Desktop, Create Shortcut. This will create a shortcut on your desktop and you can run the game from there. Or if you tend to run the game from Vortex, I know some people do, I don't think it's actually that common, but if you do, go along to Dashboard, scroll down, and you should see the Starfield Script Extender in the Tools section, just set as primary. This will actually make it so that when you click here, it will run the Script Extender instead of the normal game's executable. And that's it! It's basically installed! And don't worry if that feels a little weird for a while, running the game through the Script Extender. 
it's it's going to start to feel more and more normal and eventually there'll be so many great mods that require it you won't be able to imagine playing the game without the script extender and that's it for the video too you probably know the drill by now i'll see you on the next video looking forward to seeing you there and until then remember as always have fun this is where we belong